If you wear a pair of socks. Yeah. Right. Whose feet would you like to be on? What? Come on. Whose feet would I like to be on? Yeah. But whose feet would you like to be on? <sighs> All in. Ready for my introduction? Film and television. And you're ready. What's it called? Oh. Welcome, Welcome to Movie, movie Phones Unscripted. unscripted. This is my introduction. You're All right. st he's stealing my thing. Shall I Sorry. do that again? Go on then. God. Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm Kira Knightley. And we're going to talk about our new film, Atonement. And the other questions that you've set, uh, but we're also maybe going to ask some of our own. And I'll start with the first question. Kira Knightley. Now this is me to you. You'll start with the first question. I'll start with the first question. Um, and it's from Olivia, Columbia, South Carolina. That's a really strange name. I'm assuming it's in Columbia, South Carolina. Excellent. Um, how are you and your character, Robbie, alike? How are you different? We look incredibly similar. <laughs> um, we have... He's a much better person than, than me, and, uh, but I do try to be good. And I, I think that that's it. And we're both very open. And, uh, and, and, uh, yeah, that's how we're alike. We've got similar backgrounds and, and things like that. how are you different? How are we different? Well, I'm not as good a person as him. I endeavour to be, but I can't always make it. I would like to be more like my character. I think he's a brilliant person, and I love him. I wish he existed. And if he did, I'd want to be his pal. You've had a lot of roles with a powerful legacy. Elizabeth Bennet. Lara in Dr. Zhivago. How do you deal with the pressure of playing characters who are beloved and familiar? Well, um, I think the, the fantastic thing about both those characters is that they were based on books that were so brilliantly written. Um, and it's a little bit like Atonement, where you have a book that, that really goes through the sort of internal monologues of your character. I think that that actually makes it for an actor a lot easier to play. Um, I think it's always difficult when you're dealing with, with such well-loved characters in fiction that everybody that reads those books has a really um, clear idea of who don't laugh at me <laughs> clear idea of who they think those people are um, so it's always quite terrifying sort of um, messing with that I guess mm. uh, but actually they were great parts and I think that's always the most important thing I can't look at you and it's I'm just really this. weird because yeah. I've we've talked about this unscripted oh my Kira God. to James me to you I'm Kira to James Go. Uh, it's really weird. I don't know what to ask you. Uh, What's your favourite alcoholic drink? Oh, good God. Uh, well, not condoning alcohol in any way, of especially not. with the hangover. Uh, I would say that Talishka is probably my favourite alcoholic drink. Oh, that's nice. Nice Scottish whiskey. Good boy. Out of all the actors that you've had to kiss, you can put it right here, Kira. Out of all the actors that you've had to kiss, who is the favourite? Well, <laughs> um, I'd say, I'd say a combination of all of them. That's a brilliant answer. Thanks. Yeah. You know, if you possibly can, then... Thank you. That's all right. Cheers. It's okay. What made Kira perfect for the role of Cecilia? Well, you know... What I think is amazing about Kira is that her eyes are incredible. You can see yourself in them, and it's just great. <laughs> um, no, I, I think I'd been given a script that was incredible, and I loved it. She was really, really amazing. You were really amazing. Thanks. No, it was. Uh, it was a really. It was an I'm incredible. I'm not finished. No, all right. Yeah. I was trying to uh, help you out so that I can make this a conversation, sorry. so it wasn't so weird that you're talking about me. But I know. But, but that's the on. thing. Do you want to tell us all why you're perfect for the part? <laughs> Why well, you were good? I was about ah. to start kissing your ass, but it's fine. I won't. It's fine. I don't continue. Think it's the watershed. <laughs> um, and uh, and I think the performance that Kira gives in this is incredibly sophisticated. It's an incredibly sophisticated character. You need an incredibly sophisticated actress to be able to do it. And I think that's exactly what Kira is. She rocked. <laughs> Thanks, man. If you were a candy bar, wow. What candy bar would you be, and why, Kira Knightley? Oh my god. It doesn't have to be an American one. It can be a British one that they might never have heard of over here. Um I'd be I'd be a bounty. You'd be a bounty? Yeah. Do you have bounty in America? Do you have bounty in America? Oh man, you're missing out. 
I don't know why I'd particularly be a bounty. I'm choosing bounty because I like them. That's not really you a good reason. You get two. You get, yeah, you get two in one wrapper. Yeah. They're little. You can have you can one save, for lunch. You can save one for later. for later. You can bake the chocolate off. And it's got, it's got coconut in the middle. It's got coconut. That's amazing. Coconut fondant. Yeah, so in my wildest dreams, I would like to be a bounty. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think she's just terrifying for society. Um... And I think that she's fulfilling what she should, should should be fulfilling when she's a wee girl. She's being the centre of the universe, but even more so. Mum and dad are emotionally unavailable. Dad's never there. He's having an affair. Big brother and big sister have been away for years at university. And I've been away. I'm a kind of a big brother, and I've been away the whole time as well. She's away from this wee girl, and she's not the centre of the universe anymore. And um, and then and then something happens between our characters. Yeah. And she doesn't like it, and I think... It really firmly takes her out of the centre of the universe and she goes, no, I'm going to be the centre of the universe again. So do you think she maliciously tells a lie in order to... No, I don't think she tells a lie. So she believes it? I think she totally believes it. Yeah. But but then I think as she carries on and she gets older, she remains just as mental. She doesn't... I don't think she progresses like any other human being. I think she stays completely in the centre. And... um, It is very much writer is God. Yeah, totally. And I don't think it's any great surprise that... You know, she remains single for her entire life. There's just no room in her life for anybody else. Yeah. Um, There is no forgiveness for God. He says, as a writer, you are a kind of God. And you just think, she's a nutter, man. Yeah. So, I don't forgive her. May she burn in hell. If you wear a pair of socks... Yeah. Right. Whose feet would you like to be on? What? Come on. Whose feet would I like to be on? Yeah. I can't answer that one. Really? No. Excellent. But whose feet would you like to be on? <sighs> Someone really funny. Uh, You'd like somebody's fun, somebody funny's feet? I'd like to be on the feet of someone who had humour. Would you Will be Ferrell? able to tell that through their feet? Uh, yeah, because if you're funny, you've got happy feet. Oh, nice. <laughs> Nice. Fantastic. But should it not win any, and should it not be nominated for any at all, I'll never forget it. And I do think I'll be lucky if I ever do anything like that again. Okay, well, thank you to James. And thank you very much to Kira. And thank you to Movie Phone and, for, and, and to everybody that sent in Everybody all your in questions. the world. And everyone in the world thank in general. Thank you to the people. Yes. And please, please check out our film, Atonement. It's out from the 7th of December and it is really rather good. Yes, we're very proud of it and I hope you enjoy it. If you were an alien and your starship broke down on planet Earth, um, what country would you go to to find a mechanic? Can't be Britain. Uh, He's out. Japan. Why? Don't they make good cars in Japan? Germany, they make good cars in Germany, don't they? Do you want us to wait for this answer? Because it's an important what answer. Good cars? Yeah. What? What country makes good cars? Let's give a boost to Vietnam.